Hi hey guys, today we're going to create a Joomla template, a Joomla 2.5 template, uh, which will also work for Joomla 3.0. And we're going to take a standard HTML CSS template and convert it into a Joomla template. Uh, this is the template that we're going to convert. This is straight HTML CSS. Um, it's called Business Design, and I didn't create this template. This is created by Site Creative as you can see in the footer, um, but we will be taking this and converting it into a Joomla template. Uh, and I chose this design just because it's very simple. Uh, we'll have a logo, a navbar module, and a static image module, as well as some side and footer modules. Um, and this particular template doesn't have any inner pages, um, but what I want to do is just the inner pages will be the same except they won't have this image. Okay, so let's get into it. Uh, first thing I want to do is go to my Joomla site, and it's just a brand new Joomla installation without without the um, sample content. So this is a, a straight. Uh, I just installed it. There's no no content. Nothing's been added to it. Um, so you can follow along if you want to install Joomla. Um, I do have some videos that will show you how to install Joomla with Zamp, which is a, uh, it's what I'm using. It's a local uh, Apache server and it has MySQL, um, PHP 5.3 and um, Apache. So the first thing I want to do is add some content. Um, I want to be able to just program the template and have the content already be there. So we'll create the menu with the menu items um, as well as the content, the main content on the home page and the each module. So let's log into the admin area. I'm going to try to keep this this whole um, video within three parts. I don't really want to have a million parts so I'll try to do it quick. Alright so what I'm going to do is I'm first going to create the home page content uh, and that's going to be an article. So what we can do is go to our template, the HTML template and open up the index file and what we want is the, the uh, let's go back to Chrome. What we want is this this entire thing here. So from business design to enjoy the design. So let's grab this. I'm just going to copy it for now. I'm not going to cut it out. And I'm going to put that in the home page. I really don't like JC. I mean, I don't like Tiny MCE the editor. Uh, I prefer JCE, so I'm going to actually install that. Alright, so we have the home page and we'll keep, we don't need categories um, and featured, yes. So save that. Now I'm going to go ahead and install JCE. Uh, you can just Google JCE and you should be able to find it. Uh, I believe there's a free version. Uh, let's see. I'm just going to right here. This might not be the latest version, but that's all right. I just really don't like the default editor because it's just um, it, it rearranges HTML and I just it just does stuff that just can cause problems. Um, so after I install it, I go to global configuration and change the edit default editor to JCE. All right. So now, if we look, I'm not going to I'm not going to create all these pages. Um, I'm just going to create. I'll probably create the about page, and then the rest will just be. Um, just a dead link that'll go nowhere because you, you guys know how to create pages. So I'll create that one about page. So 
this will be about us. And for content, let's just grab some dummy content. Lorem Ipsum, or well, Lipsum.com. Come on. Okay, I'm gonna generate some content. site is slow all right so I'm just gonna grab some of this copy that and I'm gonna paste it into the HTML I'm gonna add just the paragraph tags because if you don't do it through the HTML then it's gonna copy the format of the text which I don't want All right, save that. Let's go ahead and create those menu items. So I'll go to menus. Um, sorry, main menu. And we get the home. Let's go. Let's see what we got. Uh, we'll click view site. So we have the home page um, content. By default, Joomla includes all this stuff, and I don't want that. So we'll go to um, we'll go to article manager and options and I'm going to let's see I don't want to show the author I don't want to show the show the dates or the navigation uh, no read more I don't want to show icons so I'm gonna click hide for all these and then in category I don't think I I'll just hide whatever is there same thing with categories all right save and close so now if we go back to the front end we still get this category showing let's see hide oh show category hide link category no show title yeah all right let's see if that got rid of that stuff and this um, this home and home page I don't want that so I'm gonna go to the home page in the article manager and I want to hide I want to hide the heading. Um, so I'm going to click on article options and hide for the show title. And then go back to the main menu and click on home because right now if we reload we still have that home and home page. Um, go to page display options, show page heading no, article options, show title, hide. And that should clear this up. Yeah, there we go. All right. So, and we can also change the title. You can see up here it just says home. Let's change that by going to page display options. And here we want to put, we'll just put business design. All right, now we'll create the rest of the menu items. So I'll click New. And we do have an About Us article, so I'm going to click on Single Article. And I'm going to call it, is it About Us or About? About Us. Okay, Save and New. And next we have Technology Solutions. Well, we got to select the article for about us first. Oh, click no. So now we're just going to create a blank link. So we want to select external URL. And that's going to just be a pound symbol.
All right, so save and new. Next we have portfolio. Same thing, it's gonna be just a blank link. Next we have strategic partners. Okay, so then we have contact and then jobs. Maybe I'll make another tutorial after this where we'll actually create these pages, but for this particular tutorial, um, I just want to show you how to make the template and how to set it up. Contact, and then we'll do jobs. Alright, so we should have our menu, and in the default Joomla template, the menu's on the side. So if we reload, we should see all those links. We should be able to go to the About Us page. Yep. Alright, so what do we have next? We have the menu, we have the content. Let's um, grab this image. It must be set as a background image. Um, I don't like that. Let's just go see how it looks in index HTML. So the header in this te particular template, it's just a div and the div contains the image. So what I'm gonna do is just copy this div and I'm gonna put that in a module position. So if we go to module manager, um, new, custom HTML and this is going to be the main image and it's going to be in the I guess header well yeah we'll put it in the header we're going to have to program this position when we make the template if we toggle the editor we can just add in the HTML and we want this to only display on the home page. So I'm going to click only on the page selected and click home. Okay, so that's that. Let's get out of here. Next, I want to do the side modules, which will be the right position. So we have a copyright and then an other info box. So let's select new uh, custom HTML. And this is going to be what is this? Copyright. And we'll choose to show the title. We'll just have to maybe add some CSS to get it to display right. Position, we're gonna program this is gonna be the right position. And let's just grab that text. Sometimes I don't even use the editor at all. I just use the straight HTML. So let's save that and create another module on the right. Grab that. So this is other info. And that's gonna be on the right. I'm gonna paste that text in with some paragraph tags. And I'm gonna just leave these at all pages. I'm gonna have them show on all pages. Okay, so next we have the footer menu. We'll say footer menu and footer right. Um, for the footer menu, I'm just gonna I'm gonna create another menu called footer menu. And I'm just going to copy all the items from the other menu. So I'll go to main menu, select all these, and then let's see. We want to 
we want to copy to the footer menu. Okay, so now we have, if we select footer menu, it should be the same. So it has that two next, so I'll probably have to delete those. Um, so let's go back to module manager, create a new module, which will be a menu. And we want to make sure footer menu selected. We can name it. We don't want to show the title. Position will be, we'll say footer, uh, footer left. And that's on all pages. So save that and create a new module. And this will be the footer right position. We don't want the heading to show. And this will just be, we'll call it uh, credit. Because what it is, it's just the backlink to the template creator. And let me grab that. So span ID copyright. All right, so I'll grab that whole span tag. Oh, I'm sorry, we chose menu. We don't want menu. We want custom HTML for this module. So, new custom HTML. Put that span tag in, and this will be uh, credit. Put our right, hide the title, and make sure it's on all pages. Yep. Yeah. All right. So let's save that. All right. So now we have all our modules set up. I'm actually going to stop this video and continue on another one because we're over 15 minutes now. Um, so I will see you in the next one.